September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hello and welcome to Faith, the Unholy Trinity. This is a very retro style game, by the looks of it. That's quite popular, and I've not played it. Uh, I saw that the third chapter just came out. I'm just getting used to this menu. It's weird seeing everything in Latin. Uh, the third chapter just came out, and I figure, what the hell, we'll just go through and play all three. See how it goes. Um, this is made by New Blood, uh, who made Ultra Kill, which I really enjoyed. Um, so this is going to be pretty spooky by the looks of it. So let's go. Oh, all right. We're just in it. Uh, okay. W. Uh, uh, e. Okay. Um, just pressing buttons. I have a cross. Okay. Space is cross. That's actually pretty dope. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Uh... Oh. I'm guessing that's a map. Okay, that's like the road, I guess. Map. Tree. Uh... I don't know what that is. And two houses? Alright. This is really retro feeling. I, I, I actually really like this. Praise! Whoa, what the hell? Get, get, get! What the fuck? What the hell was that? I guess all I can do is cross? Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Get! Scram! I'm not your father. I mean, oh. Okay. I mean, I'm a father, but I'm not your father. Oh. You're invited! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Great. Um, so there's a map. Oh God, it's so silent whenever I hit the pause button. So there's other... Can I, can I go left and right? Oh, hi, deer. You're not... Okay, this is dangerous. Do not approach deer in the wild, by the way. Especially not from behind. Uh... Oh. Hey! You're scaring the deer! Whatever the hell you are. Weird... Spaghetti man? I don't know. Some rocks? He really... Is... Oh, hi. What? Hey! Worship? I'm not gonna worship you. What am I doing? What is all this? Public lecture. Oh, that's, uh... Um, the Illuminati. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system? Wednesday at 8 p.m. Can I keep going this way? This guy has been on every screen so far. Suffer! S suffer. Yeah, that's right. Praise Jesus! I must have to pray my way out of this. Oh, what the? Oh, hey. Are these things possessed? What is happening? Bob. The kids and I miss you more every day. 
The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to, the, to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. What is this supposed to be? What? I don't understand what I'm even looking at. Alright. Alright, buddy. Look, I know you're out there in the woods, just... I've got my... Got my prayers ready. Oh, it's a deer again. Hey, hey, hey! Am I lost? Oh... Okay. It's locked. Alright. You say so. Hey! Get, get out of here. Be gone! I'm sorry. Praying to this guy. Be blessed, dear. Go good in the name of Jesus. Get, get, scram. Oh, hello. This guy gonna, he's gonna pop up? No. Nope. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having a family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Okay, so, that's some plot. So Father Allred came to exercise stuff. I'm not Father Aldred. Oh. Fuck you. I'm gonna get this key. And you're not gonna jump out at me. Right? Uh, uh. Ah. I fucking knew it. I've played video games before. I know how this works. Okay, map? It's not really a map. Uh, it's not really highlighting. I guess I'm not finding things of value. I know the house is up there, but I feel like there's other stuff. Damn, this deer's... I don't know if the deer's following me or I'm following the deer. Oh, this is different. Hey! Damn, that guy's persistent. Oh, I can't do this. I can exercise this water puddle. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids. Just regular adults. They told me that they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Damn, dear. Okay, it's, it's not random. Alright, I am... probably just gonna head towards the house, so I'm not really finding anything. Oh, the road. A uh, spooky tree? This tree? A oh, tree is a thing. That tree was possessed! Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All of the needles are falling off of it and the back is, or the bark is peeling. 
I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've got, gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Well, fuck Kathy. Kathy is, doesn't know anything. Those are terrible books that they're reading. Oh my god, this deer. <laughs> Jesus! Wow. He did not... He was ready, but I was... I was ready or... It's this puddle again. Did I go left of the puddle? Pretty sure I did. Okay. I'm just gonna go up. I'm just, I'm just gonna go up. And I can feel you out there, strange... crawling man. I can feel you out there, watching me. I can feel you out there. So the shed is... over there. Okay, so there's a whole... Okay, so what if I just... go this way? Never mind, I've, I've been here. I feel you. I know you're out there watching me. Just... come on. Do it. Attack me. What the hell? Is it dip? Alright. Deer? Oh my god, deep. Oh, it is different. Okay, this is... Oh, hello. No, he's... he's gonna... Is it, it's not... Is it the gravestone? No? No, really? Is it this thing? This thing? Ah! There's a ghost in there. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a hist historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulties identifying who is buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've seen the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, Save Connecticut Historical Society. Hmm. So we're in Connecticut. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh my god! Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been con contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Is that Father Garcia? Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm glad I wandered around as much as I did. Well, excuse me? Pentagram? Pentagram? Hello? What the hell? Okay, I... Okay. Chaos reigns. <laughs> have a nice, have a nice day. Okay, here's the well. So that's like the middle. Okay, let's go straight up. I feel like I found everything with that guy. Considering he dropped a note. I'm also feel bad for wasting a lot of this time. Wandering in the woods. Oh. 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 That was purple. That was a purple... thing. Uh, coat rack? 
Haunted coat rack note. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was a guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look you... It was not the kind of look a child gives you. So it's the exorcist. Haunted clock? No. It's this faceless painting. Oh my god. Oh, it's haunted. Haunted! Be gone! Well, that's not... That's not really that bad. That's pretty nice. That's Amy. And Mr. and Mrs. Martin. That's not... That's not too bad. Yeah. Doesn't really look like that from here, but... Haunted plant? Nope. Alright, the silence is, uh... Unsettling. Okay. Bed? And I, I know bad things have happened in here. I know unholy things have happened in this bed. We need to pray over... The, we need to cleanse the bed. Cabinet? God, if something hops out of the cabinet, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna scream. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, get, get, be, be gone, our, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, get, get the hell out of here. Want to dress it? No. Living room? Lamp? Lamp? No. Chair? Chair? Couch? No. Some unholy things have probably happened on the couch, too. TV? The root of all evil? No. Media? Haunted plant? No. Picture? No. Uh, I don't know what that is. Clock, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Oh, hello. Is there a back door? Can I go out the back door? Nope. What is this? Hello? Oh. What? There's so many ghosts. Oh. Nate? What the hell? Nate. Fascinating. Nate was the... Bro was her brother? Or is her... Or did Amy make that and its name is Nate? I God. Every time I enter a, a room, I'm scared something's gonna be there. Uh, hello? Upstairs? Oh, that's blood on the ground. Plant? Want to plant? I don't know what that is. Game Boy cartridge or NES cartridge? Nope. I don't know what this is either. A bike or something? I don't know what's going on there. Weights? Oh, it's like a bike. It's like a workout. Why'd you have that upstairs? God, that's so much work to carry that upstairs. All right, we're going to ignore that room. Oh, the bathroom. This is a big bathroom. The bathroom's as big as the living room. Sinks? Toilet. Haunted toilet. Nope. Oh wait, I saw that. Hello? Oh my god, even the bathtub was haunted. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I can hear voices out outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed. Distorted. Slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a, a, a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I just don't know why. She just doesn't s seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. And now I can't seem to find my own car keys. Thank God, th thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Thank Bob God comes home tomorrow.
I don't really have that many answers. I know Amy... Ugh. Amy is possessed. Or perhaps was possessed. I don't know what the white thing walking around was. Hello? I can't... God, something's gonna... Don't you... Don't you dare. Don't... Don't... I don't, I, I don't like that. Where haven't I gone? Am I missing something? Oh, are these stairs here? I didn't even see these before. Oh, man. Okay. All right, Amy was in the basement. Mannequin? Haunted mannequin? You know mannequin. Okay. Go through here. I see that blood over there. What's going on? They got all that blood over there. Oh, the laundry's in here. That's oh, the oh, it's a crib. The crib. That okay. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day to hear from you. In your letter, you asked. What's the weirdest thing I've seen in a mission? I've seen a as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbaba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. Kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He, he got a real... He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Okay. Why is there a crib in the basement? That doesn't seem like where cribs should be. Haunted laundry. No. Doesn't seem like a crib should be in the basement. I don't remember mention of a baby. Oh, fuck. Fuck this. Fuck this. One of y'all are... One of y'all... Haunted? No, I didn't think so. Get, get... No. No, no. No. That's that's not happening. No. 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 Really? No, I, I, I don't believe you. I, I don't... I don't believe... I don't like that. Hail Mary, full of grace. Get the hell out of here, mannequins. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I guess this is what I'm here for. As... Priest, whoever I am. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical. And the, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Audrey... Aldred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get the, the back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. I went down to finally check on things. I, fi I found F Father Aldred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So is the white thing, is that Father Aldred or... No, 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 no. What the hell? What the hell? Amy? Amy? Don't. 
don't. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly. Although to say it, it although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began to write again. All right, but it's my turn now. I got teleported to the bedroom. I was, I don't think I was in the bedroom before. I don't remember there being a bedroom. Haunted... I don't know, squid? I don't know. <laughs> Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Amish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. That's not, okay, that's not. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working out at the clinic. That's a baby? That's a baby doll? I don't know. That's... I've never seen a baby doll that looks like that before. Oh. What? What? No! No! Oh! Uh, uh. Oh! Oh! I did it? I don't know what I did, but I did it. Simon says... Be gone! Simon says, get out of here, demon. These down here. Did I cross these? No? Okay. Gotta cross everything. Never know what could be... Could be possessed by a spirit. So, so there's two more beds here. So I guess these are the boys, but... I don't... I still don't remember hearing about, like, a baby. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess I didn't... No. You get the hell out of here. Whoop. Alright. Maybe I just didn't go down last time. Was that always there? Maybe. I'm just an idiot. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh! oh! Oh, man. Amy. Amy, look. Listen. Yeah, that's nice. Amy. Okay, it's the same. Oh, I still have to scroll down. Amy, look. look. It's, 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 it's all good. I, I, I don't know what I did to... Oh, man. She could... I didn't even see her that other time. I have to re-get these things. We're gonna go... up? I de- oh! I don't fully understand what I'm doing, but it seems to be working. Or maybe it isn't, and that's why I died. I- I- I don't know. I see- I- I see you up there. I- I- I, I saw that. You come in- oh, they're coming from over here. You can see me, huh? See this. Okay, I gotta like pick one. I, I guess one of them's the right one. Don't. Ha! Ah, got you before I- You failed me? I didn't fail you. I'm not gonna fail you, Amy. Okay. She was in here. Somewhere. I s- No. Get- Okay. What am I doing now exactly? Stop that. Hell Mary full of grace, Lord is with thee. Get out of here. Um 
I mean, this is where, like, the stuff... I heard a door open upstairs. What? Pardon? Oh my god, the baby doll's down here. Oh, the door with the blood behind... Oh, hell. What's the baby doll doing down here? Is any other things different? When you... When you... I'm gonna be... No? No? You don't want any of this? You don't want any of this holy gospel? No? No? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Okay, I don't think we're ready for, for that. We're gonna go upstairs. Seems like things... Seems like Amy has settled down. Uh, I heard a door open upstairs. i not a big fan of that. Oh. Guess this is the attic. That makes, that makes sense. See, they did talk about that. Oh my god. Molly! The church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her, managed to cut the power to the house and... Her own parents, with their own... I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Is that... Me? Because I... I'm John. So I've already confronted her in the attic before? No. 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 Don't like that. Oh, we're we're doing this. We're doing My this. God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Give back Amy. Give her back. Get out! Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done uh, on earth as it is in heaven. What is this? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What? Mortis. Who was that? Now I'm gonna mortis me. My God, what happened to you? I'm mortis you. I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Hail Mary, full of grace. Uh, I don't remember the rest of this one. Oh God. Oh, okay. I just have to hold it. Nope. Don't like that. Got her, got her, got her. Get it. Get it. What? More this. Dude, the snow face. That is crazy. And then... Ah. Okay. Blaster. Blaster! There she is, Blaster! Oh shit, oh shit, shit! 
Curtis. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Be gone, demon. Be gone, foul beast. Huh. 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 No. No. Ha. Ah, found you. Huh. Huh. Now I am the master. <laughs> Man, you, you got nothing. You got nothing on this. You got nothing on the Lord. <laughs> okay, maybe you got something on the Lord. Mortis. Okay, she always comes from behind me, I think. From behind the... the this thing. She's gonna go from up. Yeah, okay. I have you now. Get... Get... Scram. Get unpossessed. Get out of here, demon. Leave Amy alone. Hell yes. I mean, heaven yes. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. She's following the... She's following the... At the... Pentagram line. Get... Get out of here. Alright, the corner's kind of awkward to... Nope. What? Why? This is nuts. Th that transformation is bonkers. Is I too close to her, maybe? Mortis. We got this. We got this. I guess I can't touch the symbols? I'm guessing? She's gonna go up. Oh, she's going over here. Fuck. Mortis. Mortis. Yes! We saved Amy! I think. Or killed the demon? What? Hello? 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 Um. Hello? Oh. Who left this? This is the ceremony. F for opening the... Uh, let no brother or sister utter it. Prepare the... For the right index finger. Use the right index finger to draw the signs of the... On the floor. Bring an impure vessel to the signs of the... Let a brother or sister drink at each sign of the... Carve the face of the... The blood that fills the opening is the new... Let seven be taken from their mothers and lowered into the... Upon the offering of the seventh, the... Will emerge from the... This is the second death. What? Some kind of... Okay, so... I guess the people who are around the house were... Oh... Kill her. Oh, there's a gun? A gun with one bullet. Wonderful. A gun with one bullet.
Uh, this kind of looks like a big cigarette. Like when I'm like this. <sighs> I mean, priests can smoke, right? So she outside? You know, I didn't even think to look around the house. Maybe she's... Well, no, because she jumped out the back window. Um, maybe she's back at my car? I sure hope that that guy monster thing doesn't show up. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if I try to hold up my cross, I'm just going to shoot my one bullet. Well... It's not the well. Maybe she comes out of the well like Ringu? Nope. What's this thing? Chaos reigns. Maybe because I did that, something happened. Maybe, maybe like I shouldn't have chaos reigned. Which I didn't really know what would happen. We gotta finish this. Shooting her really the right thing to do here? I mean, we're trying to exercise her, not... Like, I mean, killing her kills her. Oh, a deer. Can I shoot the deer? Nah, deer, nah. You're safe for now. I have, I have a possessed child to shoot. That's completely justified uh, by my religion. This this murder has been sanctioned. Well, I guess it has been sanctioned, right? Because... Oh, I, how did I... I guess it loops... Like, I guess I'm- it's not approved by the Vatican, so this is not something that's supposed to happen. Or supposed to be happening. And where is this girl? Oh. Amy? Amy? A Amy? I don't want to shoot you. Hey, Amy. Uh. Hey, Amy. Oh, I. Amy. Amy, I'm sorry. Oh, my. Amy, I'm sorry. Well. What? What now? It's over, right? I can cross again. I guess that's... that's it? But there's still, like, the crazy... Spaghetti Man, like, the... the I don't even know what that guy is. Or who that guy is. Is that the other priest? Maybe? Because we don't know what happened to the other priest, right? I mean, something bad happened to him, but we don't know what. Right? I don't really know. We go back to the house, maybe? Or just get in the car? I mean, that was what we came here to do, right? Oh. What?! Oh, I guess... Ending one of five. Murderer. <sighs> I shouldn't have shot Amy. Man! Oh. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Road. Okay, so I am John. Last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot, the officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious. Yeah, okay. After being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officers called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin. 
a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An, an officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. What? Oh, okay, we start from here. Okay, so I'm... All the endings branch off from here. What if I ju just don't pick up the gun? I mean, that might be one. What if I... Okay. What if I just take the gun and go home? Can I, can I even go back in the house? Oh, right. I did do that, didn't I? Yeah. What if I just leave? What if I just don't shoot Amy and just leave? What if I just hadn't picked up the gun and just left? But we're going to try this. We're just going to leave. We're, we're just going to leave. We're not going to shoot anybody. This is a much longer walk back to the car than I remember. Holy shit! Holy shit! I will send up the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Leaving Amy alive, I suppose? Uh, hey! When faith endures. Ending 5 of 5. I guess that's the good ending? But is this the, the true ending? Hmm. Oh. Police, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains down near Sterling. Ster Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of, of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. I'll say. Police say that they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that, that the remains were of some kind of animal. What? As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said Sterling Police Spokesperson. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. It's... If, a, if it's a mountain lion or an exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Well, that was a crazy turn of events. Turns out that was a chupacabra, eh? Um... Okay, what else can I do? 
I could leave without the gun. But would he... Hmm. Is he just gonna jump out and kill me? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, what else can I do? Can I do something in the house with the gun? Hmm. Mirror seems suspicious. I don't really think so. I could try shooting it. I mean, the worst is well, I'm just gonna die and you're gonna get edited back to... I'll just edit out this whole thing and you guys won't even know. Oh. Neat. Well, guess I'll die. Oh, the gun's back. Oh, I so I can't... Okay. So I can't actually waste the gun. Right? Hang on. We're gonna try this again. I can always... So what happens if I just shoot it again? Oh. Ah. Uh. Alright, one more time then. Yeah, yeah, with one bullet. I, I get it. I'll do it from the back wall. Ah. Pardon? P p hello? Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help. Help me, Jesus. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. Help me, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Get out of here. Say your Hail Marys or whatever. What is this? Oh, fuck. What is this thing? Do I have to shoot the mirror all over again? Oh, I do. Get out of here! No, 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 Is this? What are you? Are you the demon? Are you like the like the demon inside of Amy? Oh man! Yeah! Be gone, demon! Hell yeah! October twenty third, nineteen eighty six. Dear Mitt. Dear Dr. McGlashan, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my affliction and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in, sep in September in the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy a peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I, respect, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, Contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Oh, no. So... I... I'm... Is that after the first time? So I go there. Try to... Exercise her. 
with another priest. It doesn't go as planned for some reason. And I go crazy. And I end up in a psychiatric ward, but then I come back? But then I come back? Okay. What do I do with this now? I don't even... I wasn't even thinking. I kind of just picked it up. I could shoot the deer, I guess. If I find it. So that doesn't seem very nice. And I don't know why I would do such a thing. But speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Get out of here! Oh my god. That's a lot more gruesome than I thought it would be. All right. I mean, I don't know if that'll be an ending. We'll just go to the car and... I mean, if the guy kills me, the guy kills me, I guess. I will say oh. What? Is my and my just a normal is. ending, huh? My God, it, it, my will trust. That's a little disappointing. Admittedly. Oh! Oh my god! Get your crucifix, dude! Those aren't normal deer! Oh! The hunter. Oh my god. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. The spokeswoman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It had been noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car from a white from a white-tailed deer from a white-tailed deer as a hunter typically gets 70 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. What? All right, one more time. Let's go. We have all the notes now. But we don't have all the endings. I don't know what else to do. I have a feeling that not taking. I. I. So far, they've all had to do with the gun. Well, let's see what else we got. I don't really don't know what else we can do. I haven't seen anything else to... to shoot? I mean, there might be an ending without the gun. Maybe there's, like, something else that happens without the gun? I'm not really sure. So we have ending one, ending... four, four five. So we have, okay. Ending one is where we shoot Amy. Ending five is where we shoot the other guy. Ending four is we shoot a deer. I'm gonna guess, and one of the endings is we die, is, is, is the guy kills us, because we don't take the gun. That, that, that might be one of the endings. I don't really know what else there could be. Okay, this is that's the the middle point is the is the well. Oh, there's chaos reigns. Can I do something with chaos reigns? Chaos raids. Oh, this has got to be something, right? I mean, I don't think there's anything to shoot. There's not really. Anything to shoot, though. Chaos Reigns. Oh. 
it does okay it kind of reacted i don't know what that is like a fox or something interesting I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh. Oh. Oh, cultists. Those are the cultists from... The drawing? No. Amy was... That looks like what was in the drawing. Ending 3 of 5, the offering. Oh my god. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It's hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult, and you are able to handle your own life. And do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. Well, that was... something. Gary, huh? Gary. I mean... There is a thing on the loading screen of this game that says Gary loves you. But I haven't seen the name... That's the only time I've seen the name Gary in this game. I guess Gary's... Gary is how Amy got possessed? Or maybe Amy was part of that cult? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what other... Ugh. What else could I do? A dog with one bullet. Oh, who is this? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> what the hell? Who the hell is that? Who the hell was that? Is that Gary? What the hell? I guess that's the last ending I needed. I... Oh my god. That gave me a heart attack seeing that guy staying there. It's amazing how effective this game can be, like, like, how effective this game is, it's just absolutely, absolutely getting you. Okay, so that's gotta be the last ending, right? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. <gasps> this guy! That asshole! Father and son? Father and son. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, we have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with, the, with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside of him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. So that... That... Is Michael... Michael Davies? 
Oh my god. Well... This has been... Faith Chapter 1. I am... I definitely understand why this game is so popular. Wow. I thought it would be kind of cute with some spooky stuff, and it would be, you know... You know, it would have like a spooky aesthetic to it. I never thought it would actually... be so... scary. It's amazing what... such minimalism actually can do. Because it's just, it's just your imagination. Because it's such kind of a detailless thing. But with those, like, like cutscenes, I'm going to call them, where we see Amy, the imagery there is terrifying. Like the way she moves and the way how it's animated is so, so creepy. It's, it's great. Cannot wait to jump into chapter two. I do want to see. I unlocked some extras, I think. Or didn't I? Something. Or maybe I didn't? Um. By the way, I really loved this game. I cannot wait to play the second one. I'm going to get this video up as fast as I can and get right to the second one. But thank you for watching. I hope this was fun. It was certainly fun for me. I, I hope it was fun for you. And next time, we'll keep the faith.